There's something special about this day, and that's my vlog's first episode. So this is the first episode of my vlog and by this episode I'll be the first Pakistani to start vlogging from Australia. For the first episode I wanted to give you guys a smooth start. So I thought let's take you to the journey of the mystic. Tahir Hussain Faridi Kawal originally from a small town in Nova Scotia, Canada. He has been journeying into music and mysticism within the Indian subcontinent from a very young age. In 2001, Tahir Kawal and Amina Chishti first formed Fana Filla, a traditionally arranged Kawali group devoted to spread the Sufi message in the West. Since this assemble was created, Fana Filla has performed at hundreds of festivals gatherings and concerts worldwide and for me Tahir Bhai is the true ambassador of peace between the East and West. At night the lantern I light with my own tears in place of oil. Oh Lord why don't you hurry and reunite me? Yeah. Okay, so what are the best three things you like, like about Pakistan? The best three things, let's see, there's Kawali, Kawali and Kawali. <laughs> <laughs> I think the first thing that, that really struck me when I first started traveling in Pakistan a lot was how kind and generous people were. I think it's, people say it's a Muslim thing overall, that they go to Muslim countries and people are always giving but I'd never experienced on that level at any to any extent. Uh, there was a lot of times like we go for a chai and have this delicious chai and be like, oh, how much for the chai? They'd be like, oh somebody already paid for it. And be like, oh thanks. Who's this somebody? And like, oh they already left. Like that <laughs> level of it. There was like a real deep satisfaction people got from being able to give something to somebody else. And that really changed me. I felt like such a selfish fool when I was there and I had to change my ways. So. And the other thing is just how musical it is there. And it's funny contradiction because music is taboo for some Muslims there. Yes. And there's always this debate, is it yeah. haram, is it not haram? And yes. It's just people are so open to express musically. And there's some really good azan when you hear the call to prayer there. The, the, just the, like when we're at the Urs, like in Adata Sahab or in Pakpatan, the Urs, yeah. in the streets, like the most amazing music, like very high level music. I mean, I've traveled the world and studied music and all over, and it's so, so, such a high level of musical ability, whether it's like people playing shanais or dholes or, or people just singing songs or even like the Kanjiris going around and singing their songs, like, wow, these people can really sing and put a lot of feeling into it. And if you want to know about food, the best food experiences I've had is like when we're up really late, like after playing a mafi le sama, like a, a heavy kawali set, mm -hmm. and those takatak, yeah, takatak. Okay. those guys, when you get that at like three in the morning and you need to replenish some calories so after singing. So was it in Lahore or? 
Um, everywhere, mostly in Pak <laughs> Time. That's the different organs that they, they cut up on a big hot plate with the flame and, and they make these this kind of yeah. mix and then you have it with moti roti out of the tandoor <laughs> and they have the and um paja di paya paja di paya yeah pa- <laughs> a good paya is, it really hits the spot this is all koali food too it like yeah. clears the whole throat <laughs> so, and all that green chili and, and black pepper really yeah. it's good for singing i tell you and it, I mean, if I lived in Pakistan, I'd probably get really fat like a proper koala. <laughs> Unfortunately, die really young, so it's kind of good that I don't eat that food all year. The most interesting thing happened to you in Pakistan that you were not really expecting. Because the most of the people who ever goes to Pakistan, they're really afraid that they would die or they're a terrorist and they'll be killed. Oh, there's always crazy things happening every day. That's why I like it there. <laughs> it's India too, it's it's not so over-regulated. You know, when you're in Pakistan for a while, you're kind of starved of women. Yeah. In the sense that we're not with our wives and you're around men all the time. Yeah. Which is cool, I really dig it. It's nice to have a break from yeah. all that. Yeah. But just naturally, like, oh, you don't even get to interact with women yeah. in that culture so much. Yeah. A little bit. From young Jafri, a Firangi, to a Sufi mystique, Tahir Kawal, will be telling his life story, that what actually changed his life. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Tahir Hussain Faridi Kawal. I've been asked to share a little bit about the journey that led me to this path of music so far.